Howdy, folks. This week at Coffee and Tools, a giveaway and a review. Pretty cool. Let's do it. So this week, uh, here's the deal. I want to do a review on this. I bought this, uh, the Novatech. Uh, you've seen all the commercials online about it and making all kinds of unbelievable uh, promises. You know, there it is. And it's really uh, making a lot of claims. And I'm seeing some reviews. That most of the reviews I've seen pretty much are yelling scams. Uh, don't waste your money, blah, 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 whatever. I decided to go ahead and buy one, order it in. You know, try it and just see, you know, how bad is it? Well, I can tell you right now, it is a repeater. It is a uh, range extender. It does do those things, but the rest of it was like, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, up to 300 megabytes of uh, bits of speed. Uh, there was, uh, it'll hide your IP from the uh, internet or, or from the uh, IP server so that they can't throttle you back. Uh, yeah, those are some pretty wild uh, claims to fame. Oh, two guys invented something. We've seen these things years ago, and they were sold as a repeater range extender for $14.95. Right now, they're $44.95 from Novatech. So, my congrats to Novatech for uh, coming up with a, uh, a marketing solution that uh, was able to, you know, move these things. They are moving like crazy on the internet. A lot Apparently, they are selling a lot of them. So, anyways, I tried this, and I'm going to give you the good and the bad on it. Yes, it is a repeater. Yes, it's a range extender. My... Uh, experimentation with it was different than say a lot of other people from what I can see so here's what I did I bought this is right here this is a little Verizon hotspot and the hotspot uh, from Verizon we hooked it up got an account set up for it was doing miserable and I'm gonna give you the actual number here I should type it on the screen here but point nine megabits per second uh, from Verizon. Yeah, download. Upload was strange. Upload was about five, uh, five megabytes per second upload speed. So that was like, why is the upload so fast? But this thing is being throttled back to 0.9, you know, ridiculous. Absolutely suicidal. Nobody wants to sell, you know, nobody's gonna wanna buy anything that does, works that badly. So uh, frustrated with it, I thought, you know, just before we ditch this plan, I saw these crazy things advertised. If you're Unless you're living under a rock, but you're on YouTube, you probably saw these commercials till you were bored to death of hearing about how great these things are. So I bought this and I went through the instructions carefully and set it up, got it working, and then I rebooted the hotspot and then I rebooted this. Then I took a speed test. I also went back to just the Verizon only uh, hotspot here and did a speed test. And I can tell you right now, this, for whatever reason, the speed was double. But when you're coming up from 0.9 megabits per second, dropping a frying pan in the kitchen will probably, you know, have an effect. So it actually came up to almost 2 megabits per second speed. Still totally almost not usable, miserable. <laughs> uh, as far as signal goes, there's probably going to be some people asking about signal. This had uh, around uh, five bars, four or five bars, mostly five bars. So it was getting good signal to the tower, which is locally there's a Verizon tower probably less than a mile from here, or maybe a mile. And it, so it wasn't a signal issue or anything like that. It was just simply, you could tell as soon as you got online, uh, it's the minute you flashed onto the uh, internet with it, it would almost immediately uh, throttle back. So you could tell in seconds that you were going from say 20, 30, 40 megabits per second to 0.9. So Verizon did not want this thing on there for whatever reason. And uh, I just canceled the account, by the way, just you can tell Verizon, you know, yeah, don't need you. If you can't provide better signal or better speed than that, then forget it. In the meantime, uh, I've had this for a few weeks to do some testing with it and we're done with it so i have this used but this is the giveaway yes this is this is going to grow up to somebody someone who's a viewer so anyway that's what that was the review part of this uh like i said it for me it doubled the speed 
at least it did that. Uh, also, there was no buffering. Uh, we had buffering on video when we were running this test, and once this was plugged in and hooked up, the buffering stopped, but there seemed to be a lag in the video, so I think that was causing it to not buffer if, if your system was like right on the edge of buffering or something, this was maybe preventing it, maybe. Or it could simply be that the more stronger signal was preventing or eliminating the buffering issue with streaming video. And like I said, it did double the speed, but doubling the speed, in my case, from 0 .9, 0 0.9 to point, you know, to 2.0 or something, pretty sad. Anyway, let's not go any further with this because uh, I don't think is a viable product. Uh, if you need an extender, uh, this will do it, I guess. But from some of the uh, reviews I've seen, People are reporting even half the speed they had before they went into using one of these. My only uh, situation, I rebooted everything. I changed a few settings in my router, uh, my router, my modem, and I went to cha one channel only, uh, did away with the VPN, that kind of thing, in order to uh, finally achieve double my, double my speed using this. When I went back to check only the modem only, yeah, it was still, you know, 0.9, so... I don't know. The experiments, that's that's where I stopped. I just said, okay, I've had enough. I mean, yeah, it's, it's, it seems to be working here, but from what I'm being told by a lot of people, it doesn't work. Well, so I don't, I don't know what to tell you. But anyway, freebie. Let's, let's do this. I'm going to provide a link in the description below, which will include the email box for Coffee and Tools Show. And what you do is just send me your subscriber name, or channel channel name uh, because you subscribe to my channel right and uh, just your name and address that's all and it's got to be within the lower 48 we're gonna clip those and throw them into a fishbowl stir them up pull one out and whoever the lucky winner is gets this for free with the instructions and this this one right here will come to your door in the mail and it's your baby I don't care if you sell it on eBay the next day, but but it is a freebie. It's a giveaway. So there you go. And thank you for watching Coffee and Tools. Too. Please like, share, subscribe, and we'll have more content coming up soon. I was actually supposed to do welding this week, and somehow we ended up with this little deal. So but you never know what's going to happen around here. But we are going to start doing some uh, giveaway stuff, so it, it should be cool. Well, this is a... Uh, this is actually the second giveaway. The first giveaway, in case you missed it, uh, sorry, you missed it, okay? It, but there was a giveaway, yeah. Adios, guys. Okay. Contest is open to only one entry per household. We will delete all the e email information. No information will be shared with third party or anybody else. And we will announce the winner uh, giving your first name and the state you're in and then ship that Novatech item out. Uh, good luck to everybody and we will probably announce the winner in four or five days depending on when the next video comes out that's when we'll actually announce the winner so it the contest will run for a few days so if you see the see this and it's a day or two old hey don't worry you can still enter we're gonna do like a random draw thing and hopefully somebody you know, gets themselves a free Novatech